Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restoration and one of our latest projects. Here we have an original 1955 Space Patrol Kitty Ride. Uh, yes, uh, it's not supposed to be sitting on a chair. Um, this was a coin operated kitty ride and there was a state of the art mechanism um, that propelled this uh, rocket ship up and down, left to right uh, in a complete sweeping motion. And here you can also see a little handle here and that handle actually increased the speed of the entire motion. Um, to this day, I do not think there's any other rocket that had so many um, uh, articulating parts to a mechanism and uh, ride options because um, let's go back to like the Sandy horse ride. Basically all it did was go up and down and then a little later, they had it kind of go front to back. Uh, but Bally in 1955, this was going to be their baby. And uh, it was going to be sweeps to the left, sweeps to the right as it goes up and the rear goes down. Uh, so there was a lot of action going on uh, with this particular kiddie ride. Um, there's only a handful of these that even existed. Um, the company, while you see this checkerboard pattern here, uh, in fact, originally the checkerboard pattern went completely all the way down. Uh, so this has been, uh, this has been repainted uh, with its original colors. Cause again, you can see the yellow underneath here and you see some of the older, it was always blue and then someone painted it blue again. But underneath this red, there's a checkerboard pattern. And uh, with no doubt, uh, everyone knows what this pattern is. This is the Purina Ralston uh, logo. And they were the sponsor for this TV show in 1955. And Exhibit, Exhibit Supply was the company that actually made this ride. Um, there might have been maybe five or six prototypes made of this ride, and that's all that was made. Uh, they were made for the TV show, but in 1955, the TV show completely shut down. And uh, in turn, the six that they made as prototypes for uh, Ralston Purina Company, um, it died there. So this is a extremely rare original um, rocket ship ride, though it is missing its base. Um, that is uh, something that uh, we will have to deal with when the time comes. But uh, we're gonna bring this back to life and we'll do a quick uh, walk around this thing. As you can see, you see it does have its original trim and there's three pieces of it. Not in the best shape, but that's all uh, repairable. We can get that uh, all replated, pound out the dents. We will uh, get that to look like new. It has part of the rear tail light. Again, all these tail lights uh, in fact, you can see all these that are missing. All these tail lights were made uh, from the cars of the time. So in 1955, uh, we've done this uh, particular ride before. Uh, so we are familiar with exactly what light fixture goes there from what car, but I forget what it was. It might be uh, like a 1950, I think it maybe could have been a Thunderbird or something, but I forget. Um, as we come around here, you still have the original seat. Uh, yep, that is an original seat and cover, uh, but we'll probably end up changing that. Uh, you have the original handle. All this is original. This is exactly how it looked um, when it was made. Um, however, I think uh, these might have uh, been a colored plastic, and as you can see here, somewhere down the line, uh, like I said, they were not colored plastic, they are originally glass. And uh, over time, someone replaced it with some plastic, which is, it happens. Uh, another thing, someone put this button here, which I do not even know why. That's not supposed to be there, but um, someone added it. Uh, we'll figure out exactly what it does. And uh, another thing here is it has this original gun uh, up on top. So it's missing, missing the two nipples. There's two nipples on here with two little red lights and those lights blink, I believe, uh, back and forth. Uh, also in the front, there's also missing the entire light fixture in the front, which is like a big red nose cone and a, uh, a, a chrome trim. That right there, I can tell you, is a cover for a uh, plumbing 
uh, clean out for a floor. <laughs> so that's what they put there. Uh, another th neat thing about this ride, besides the mechanism doing everything that it's supposed to do, left, right, sweeping down, um, this actually had a steering wheel. And this steering wheel tilted the entire mechani mechanism left to right. And it did that by I mostly there. I'm not sure if I can even see it from here. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, I'll go down below so you can take a quick peek. All right, as we're looking up from the bottom, uh, you can see that the entire carriage uh, is, most of it is there. There are some parts missing, but uh, most of it's there. And uh, there's a chain, and that chain actually con was connected to the steering wheel, and then you actually could tilt the ride left and right. So like I said, this was way above any of the other kitty rides. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they only made a handful of these. Like I said, I, all I can think of is probably about six of these machines. Uh, now this machine has seen better days. Uh, it has been without its base for a long time because you can see it's been dragged on the floor for a long time and it's got a lot of damage. In fact, you can see all the fiberglass is all broken on the bottom half. And in fact, in this back corner, it's missing a lot of it. So there's a lot of rebuild of fiberglass work to be done on this machine, but uh, there is something to be said about having an original and that's exactly what this is. So there you have it. So I'm saying there's probably like five, maybe six of these out there. Uh, and if maybe you have another one of these with the base, uh, we'd love to know about it. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.